Hi everyone, welcome to part two of this um, fish page colour along um, from Small Victories by Johanna Basford. We're doing the middle fish today and the last one was done with the Black Widow Spider set. We're going to be using the Scorpion set um, today. I am avoiding showing you the lid of the tin because I know people get quite frightened of spider scorpions and particularly me with the snake I always put the lid underneath and don't look at it again and then when I stack my tins up that one goes at the bottom. I do like the pencils I just don't like the tin. Right the scorpion set has quite a large um, selection of greens. Um, I'm looking to try and figure out what colour to our fish actually but we have some um peachy colours. I might have a go with that. I think I will. Actually what I'm going to start with is an orange. Oops. If I can get it out. I may have to go. This is burnt orange. Um, my family are having their hair cut at the moment and there's a chance that um, they may um, come in the front door and I'll have to just suddenly disappear because they'll be chattering and noisy but I'm hoping I'll be able to hear my husband's car coming and, and stop um, I, they usually take about an hour and it's um, the haircuts and it's been an hour so I'm expecting them back in the next five to ten minutes or so I'm just colouring this um, with the light gentle colouring to start with and we're going to um, do some more details like we did with the other fish we'll probably do it in the same sort of way but uh, I'm just getting some colour down while I'm nattering and then uh, right it's not very even but I'll come back and play with it in a minute so I'll do this one I want it a little bit darker along here where the fish's body is and then I think I'll just start here and fade from the top I think and just work my way down it just makes the um, fins look a little bit more um, shaped because it looks a bit more than if you just leave it plain. But you can just layer it up a little bit more vibrantly if you want and then leave it plain or even not, just leave it quite pale. It's up to you. I'm going to just go along here. I did look up some fish once to see what they looked like before I coloured them. And um, a lot of the fins were actually re almost see-through and not very coloured at all and I did try that effect in oh yes it was Secret Garden there's a page with two fish under the water um, I tried it on that page and I quite liked it but I'm not sure if other people did but obviously we're all different in what we like and dislike this is a bit uneven I'm just going to even it over a bit before I start fiddling around um, yeah I think because the fish was so dark and then suddenly the you know there was all this white on the um, on these bits it looked a little odd because I didn't like copy a fish I just copied that bit but anyway I will uh, I think nowadays if I do wings and things that are see-through what I tend to do is I use a white I might colour them, see, like this. Say I was going to do this more see-through, so colour it like this. Use a white pencil over the top to mute it, and then use a white pen around all the black lines. I think that would look a little bit more better than, uh, than what I did by just leaving it quite dark and just going over the lines. And there was a background, so going over these white edges worked. I'm going to put a background on this page at the end. It's only going to be a quick sweep of pastel, um, nothing too adventurous. Um, I don't think it needs anything too adventurous because the fish are the stars of the show, not the background. I'm going to do this line here. I'm going to do a fairly intense layer. So just colouring back and forth a little bit to, uh, to get it down. There we go. Now I may have to mix some colours a little bit here. Um, see here I have a colour called Honeycomb and it looks quite peach like. I can't honestly remember what it's like. And I'm going to use this for the body of the fish. I hope that it's going to work. 
so like we did when we did the one at the top I'm just going to put a layer down all over and then see I may find it because this is quite a um, pastel -y tone I may not be able to make it much darker on the edges like I did with the forget me not yesterday I think I may just have to be satisfied with an even layer of colour which I know some people prefer anyway it's a little bit easier to apply sometimes although I find making things even is harder than trying to fade but we're all different in what we prefer the look of and what we're better at so that's that's good really we can all learn off each other that's what I love about the colouring community is most people are willing to share um, their techniques and we can all learn I've been doing I did a few Chris Cheng videos um, in February um, it is still February we're all doing this but it'll be um, probably I'm guessing it's the 2nd of March when this goes out but I don't know for sure I'd sometimes um, move the order of things around a little bit depending on what's going on but um, I think yes um, I did a few of her videos and so that was nice learned a few new things and uh, it's just um, lovely you know that and people just posting their finished work up on sort of Instagram I'm going to try to layer up a little bit on the edges but I'm not sure whether it's going to be particularly effective so I'm just going to put a few extra layers around here. I think it shows up a tiny bit. I'm going to do it anyway because I think it... Oops, have I missed a bit there? Mm, see how this has got a layer around and then this is blank. I think that's going to be this colour. Um, yes, yeah, so it is really lovely. And obviously some people do... Um, share pictures and tutorials because they're promoting their own books but that's okay you know I still think it's lovely to uh, have access to that you know it's uh, it's a lovely community I think in some some communities wouldn't do that they wouldn't want to give away their secrets I suppose tanned now this also looks quite peach like to me I think it isn't quite the same but I'm going to uh, do the face with this. Um, and yeah, so I, so I think it's really nice. And uh, I was, interestingly, I was actually watching a video. I can't remember what it's called. Is it called Mission Joy or something? And it was an, a video about um, Archbishop Desmond Tutu and the Dalai Lama. They were great friends and uh, it was a lot about how to make yourself happy and it, they both, they basically said that by helping others they felt their happiest and I thought that was really lovely and uh, it was, it's a video, it's a film that's actually available worldwide I think to view, um, I watched it on, um, I'm just trying to think of an eye colour. I watched it on um, iPlayer, BBC iPlayer, but it's available on Netflix as well, so I gather. I want a grey, like I used for the other one, but I'm going to not break my own rules and I'm going to use only these. Now we have a grey-green colour, so I'm going to use that and hope that it. I can pretend it's grey. So this is the charcoal green. And I'm going to do the same as I did yesterday for the eye. So just to put it darker on the sides and fade it top and bottom like that. But I love the way they teased each other. They laughed so much, that sort of thing. It was so lovely. Now, flowers. I think I'll do leaves first like I did um, last time. It sort of helped me really. So I'm sharpening. This is the green grass <laughs> the green grass and I am going to use it for I think I'm going to 
to split the leaves by flower. So this flower has lots of different shaped leaves, but I'm going to do them all the same colour as each other. And like our other fish, just fade towards the tip. So yes, it was a very interesting um, film. And uh, it was, uh, you know, they both came from difficult circumstances. Well, they'd been in difficult circumstances during their life, but I think you don't have to come from that sort of situation in order to appreciate what you've got. I think it can help, but we can all appreciate what we've got. We don't have to go through some sort of trauma. Sadly, a lot of people have. This is grub green, but, um, you know, not everyone. I'm going to use this for the flowers, for the leaves, sorry, on this, these, because I think it might be a bit similar to this green. Oh, it's not. Oh well. <laughs> but I think we've all we all have um ups and downs in our life, you know, good and bad. And it's the way that we deal with the if we can really some people say you have to have bad to appreciate the good. I'm not necessarily in agreement with that. I think we can have gratitude for things good the good without having but we all know of bad things we know what they are and um, so we can still compare what we do you know i had this sort of theory at one time that people used to watch um soap operas you know um eastenders coronation street that sort of thing because they wanted their lives to feel better this is the olive green i'm going i think it all the rest of the leaves will be in this and sorry i didn't explain i am fading towards the tip of each leaf um that people you know they want their they want to feel better and in this in the soap operas um terrible things are always happening and so it makes you feel like you um your life isn't quite so bad cuz uh, you know obviously they're very um over dramatic and they have to keep having different things happening to keep you watching um i don't watch them i find them too depressing you know I don't need to see other people unhappy to make me feel happy. That isn't the way I feel we should be working. But uh, anyway, I just had this theory that that's what people sort of subconsciously did. But I know some people just really get a lot of, do enjoy them. Now, flowers. We've got pinks, purples, blues. I think those are nice colours. We've got red as well. And we've got no red in the picture above. So maybe we should. Let's, let's grab a red. Let's start with red. This is the blood red. Um, maybe all our little ones. Should we do those red? Let's, let's do that. I'm going to just gently spread it out to the edge, trying to make it darker in the middle. This is quite a pinky red, I think, which I don't think is blood red. My blood isn't pinkish. I cut my finger again today. I'm been so I've got a blister on my foot from my boots that I've been breaking in and uh, that's been behaving badly and then the same day I got that I cut my finger on a tin so I had another plaster and then this morning I went to the supermarket and I was reaching into a um, shelf and the cans tins were on a cardboard tray and I just rubbed my finger against the tray and I got a paper cut <laughs> I told my husband, he was like despairing, he was like, oh my goodness, can I not even take you out of the house? <laughs> Luckily it didn't bleed, I was holding my shopping list, which was on white paper, thinking, gosh, I'm going to sort of bleed all over the shopping list, it's going to look terrible. I'm just grabbing the honeycomb again, because I missed a teeny weeny bit in here, between this leaf and flower. I'm just going to fill that in. And fussily fill in that bit too, even though it was unnecessary. Back to flowers. So uh, yeah, it was quite funny. I don't. I'm not normally. I mean, I am a clumsy sort of person, I think, but uh, I'm not normally. I do cut myself on knives and things quite often, I suppose. Um, that's why we don't have sharp knives in the house. And I know people say, well, if they're sharp, you don't cut yourself. I don't find that to be true for me personally. 
I can understand that if you're slicing something like a loaf of bread and your knife isn't sharp, it will slide off the bread and it might cut you. I get that. But for me, I, if I have a brand new sharp knife, I always cut myself on it. So it doesn't work for me. I just, you know, I, I won't conform. <laughs> right, let's use this pretty pastel purple next. Um, I'll go for this one, I think. Again, just darker in the centre, lighter towards the edge. Oh, it clashes a bit with that red. Never mind. It also clashes a bit with this orange, but hey ho. I thought purple went with orange, but maybe this is the wrong shade. But I'm not worried. It's all going to just be a bit of a mi mishmash mix. Mishmash mix. It's good. Isn't it? <laughs> So I was talking to my neighbour yesterday and she was she was talking about music and it sort of mix made me think of music and uh, saying how she used to listen to lots of music when she was young and then when she became a mum, this is Pig's Ear, love the name, I can do this one, um, she just used to put the Radio 4 on which is um, talk, chat, you know, instead. And she doesn't really listen to music very much anymore. And I'm like, I'm the same, really. Don't listen to him much. My boy, my one boy likes games music. You know, from computer games. He listens to that when he's working. My other boy likes um, bass. So he likes the bass gang and other bass singers. Um, and they're often a cappello. Like, he sh sent me a video to listen to the other day, which is a sort of barbershop type singing, you know. And he also likes singing himself and trying to sing bass, but he's really high. But he can also hit some low notes, so he's, yeah. You know, I think he's more of a baritone than a bass. But I used to be in choirs, I used to sing, I do like singing. Um, so we sometimes sing together, but not often. We don't really know the same song. Um, I'm going to do this one blue and think about what I'm doing with that one. Um... It's a, some really nice blues. I'm going to use the blue horizon, but I will probably use the other blues as well. Oh, I can hear a little bird chirping. It's sort of, I'm beginning to hear birds singing, which is making it feel very spring-like, which is rather nice. Um, I don't like spring, though. <laughs> I uh, I think... My favourite season is autumn. It's pretty, it's cold, and uh, winter's coming. Hurrah! I despise summer. Um, it's a strong word. I don't like using the word hate, despise, that sort of thing. But the heat, I just cannot bear it. And so I just dread summer. So for me, spring isn't my favourite month because that means summer's on the way. But I know some people love summer. I'm going to use the galaxy blue on that outside bit and those inside petals. Um, yeah, so I know some people really, really like summer and people are generally happier when it's sunny and things like that. So I know I can't, shouldn't be selfish, but I mean, saying I don't like it isn't really being selfish, is it? It's not like I can control the weather. Um, I just, but I, the thing I like the least is when it's humid and I don't think many people would enjoy humid weather anyway, so I think they would sympathise um, with that. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, I'm just not... I just don't find... Um, find hot weather suits me. The other day I went out, it was 14 degrees, and I put a light jacket on, and it was just perfect. You know, it was dry for a while. It rained after a while once I got back. I'm going to use this deep purple for the um, circles on this flower. I can't remember what it's like. I'm just going to give it a sharpen. I think it's quite dark. I'm going to try it really lightly to start with because I don't necessarily want... Oh, I think it's okay. Yeah. I think that's going to be good. Um, yeah, so I got home and it rained, so I was lucky. But... Um, it was just nice. You know, I like wearing a jacket. I don't like 
or even an overcoat. I don't like um I've got two yellows I'm just looking at. I don't like it when it's um hot and you have to and you wear just a little short sleeve t shirt and you're still boiling but you have to cover over because the sun and ugh pastel lemon. So uh, which ones is this going to work? I think it'll work here. I'm going to have to layer it up because it's quite faint. And I'm going to put it in this one as well. Now I've decided because my flower middle is a yellow up here on this fish. And I need to do the same on this one. So I'm going to use the yellow sand for the others. It's going a bit orange from the red there. It is nice to hear the bird song, I have to say. Oops, going green. There we go. Now, are we done? Yes, I think we are. Yes, so that was um, quicker than I expected, but there he is, all done. And my family didn't come back. I'm so sure they'll be back very soon. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Come back tomorrow for the last one and we'll do a bit of a background. So it'll be really simple. And of course you don't have to do it. You could just do the bubbles. I'll show you how I'm gonna do those as well. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a really super day and happy coloring.